Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games and welcome back to another episode of Starfield. Uh, right, so we are um, going to be continuing with um, with I playing some... Wait to meet him. It's been oh. ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Uh, and you must be Sam Cole, the Free Star Collective Expert. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila Moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi. Good to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Oh, you definitely take after your father. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Uh, only that it was a three-star collector space. Sure enough. That's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Uh, I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, no problem. And the reason being, I've got my torch on this, I have. Uh, I want to, in this episode, uh, this isn't going to be a long one, I don't think. Who's talking? <laughs> um, yeah, today's not going to be a long episode. Well, what I need to do is um, do a bunch of crafting for two reasons one for a bit of money and two for some experience points mainly the experience points because i'm not really having to spend my money on much at the moment and i've already got a little bit saved up so we need to we're going to do this the quicker way today rather than running to the spaceport uh, we need to head up to here uh, to Bessel, to be precise, and Bessel 3, Moon, and we want to go to our outpost, and we can land there. So yeah, it's nice that you can do that when, you, when you're when um, in, not so much in a rush, but yeah, you could be in a rush. I'm not in a rush, Why but I just want to do it a bit quicker. It seems to itch only when I cannot remove my helmet to scratch it. Oh, okay. Right, well, let's go indoors then, eh? And then you can take your helmet off and scratch your head. So, the plan for this episode, like I say, it's just really short, but I just wanted to show you um, just how much XP we can make from our base. So, as a quick reminder for anyone um, that can't remember... I want to go F and then R and then V. So here's our base. It's a bit of a stormy day today. But in a nutshell, we've got four resources, uh, aluminium, cobalt, iron and nickel. Uh, they all come to a bank of storages. Um, the storages kind of are linked in a zigzag snaking format we've only got three roll high and 10 rolls long so 30 storages in total but the plan is to obviously increase that but increase it with better storage but we need to kind of get to the point where we can actually do that so we come back out of here uh, we need to do some leveling up in a nutshell uh, and what i want to level up is uh, 
we go to science we need to get to this here but i need to spend i need to spend three more points uh to get to this point here um so the quickest and easiest way to do that and some people may say oh it's an exploit well it's not an exploit it's just doing what the game is designed to do and that is crafting Uh, and we're going to craft adaptive frames. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do this. Um, oh, the phone ringing. Right, sorry about that. I got distracted there. phone was ringing. Uh, right, so I'm not going to sit here and do this um, all the way through because uh, it's not going to be super exciting for you to watch. I just wanted to quickly show you how it works. So all you do, uh, at the moment, I can make a whole bunch of these. Uh, so I'm going to go all the way to the end here and make a 99 of them. I can actually click on the, the bit there. That'd be great. And then press E to confirm. Something for personal use or for sale? Ah, but before I carry on doing that, something I did forget to do is we need to get our little XP boost of 10%. So let's have a quick sleep for an hour, which is actually 57 hours and 47 minutes here. Come on, there are worlds to conquer. Uh, there may very well be, but we are going to be doing a bit of crafting. So, carry on with this. So we click on the end, and then press E. E, click, E. E, click, E. We've already got a level. And this is it. This is as exciting as it may be. Um, but that's all we do. And then once we've uh, made... Or use up all the resources on that one we come to here and then do the same thing on this one and we're getting 108 xp per click um, we don't need all that much xp to level up and obviously the, the quicker you can do this um, the more xp you're going to earn so i'm just going to use up all of my resources and uh, see how many levels we gain i'll be back in a second Alrighty, so I've used up all of my resources that I have available to make adaptive frames and I could probably make a few more of these. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've used up all the resources that I can. Obviously, that's still going to be topping up because the uh, miners are still working away. But look at that. I'm now level 20. And if we go to our skills we've got eight points <coughs> excuse me sorry about that i've got eight points available to spend so uh we are going to where can i put points uh reduce fuel cost of the jump drives put a point in there i need to make 15 grab jumps that's fine. Uh, geology. Uh, right, I haven't done any scanning or anything since I've unlocked these. Um, apart from this one here. Right, so I can't put any more points in there. So we need to work our way down now. Um, scanning. Uh, you can detect uncommon inorganic resources on planets and so, yeah, we'll grab that one. Scan five planets or moons to level that one up. Perfect. Uh, and need to spend one more point. Botany, weapon engineering, zoology. What do we want to do here? Get more common or uncommon organic resources from planets. Organic from creatures and harvest them without harming them. Okay. Let's go for this one. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll uh, we'll go for it anyway. Right, I can now unlock this one. Uh, you can construct improved outpost modules and research additional modules at a research lab. Fantastic. Build five different outpost modules uh, to level this one up. We need to work our way all the way down here. Um fantastic right so i've still got points to spend but we'll have a look at that um 
some other point because I want to see uh, what I can now build um, if it's given me anything new. Um, it's, still, it's still adding all those things that I've made, which is uh, mildly annoying, but okay. Uh, so we've got fuel generator. I don't remember seeing that before. Industrial light post, light post. Um, I think we already had the small warehouse, from what I remember. Um, I want to get the the bigger warehouses and the bigger storage. That's my my goal. That's why I'm kind of hesitant to build more of the, the storages that I have because if I can build bigger ones, I don't want to build millions of them and then have to replace them all with bigger ones because that's just going to be long. Uh, we got any more? It'd be nice if it actually told me what I did actually um, unlock. Right, okay, okay. Ah, we have got the um, inter-system cargo link now. We need this so we can bring in resources from outside of our system. Fantastic. Right. It said something about the research lab as well. Let's have a quick look on here. Outpost development. So we've completed this one. Uh, manufacturing 2 is the next one that we want to work at. Um, and that's going to give us fabricators and medium storage modules. Okay, fantastic. Um, Q. Oh, no, let's go back to this one. Yeah, so that's going to give us um, those bits. Um, we can track projects. And that will give us an idea of what resources we need to uh, go and collect. Because when we click on here, we can see um, right, we've got zero wire. We haven't got enough reactive gauge. We've got that. We need more iron. Uh, we need more tungsten. We need more sealant. And we need more lubricant. It puts this little uh, magnifying glass next to uh, the item so we can actually see what we're collecting there. Outpost defense. Uh, what's it blocked? Uh, and we need outpost engineering rank 2. Uh, discover how to construct security mini bots and turret mark 2 at outpost. Cool. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, right. So now. As well as obviously doing what I've just done, uh, I have got um, a whole bunch of, well, I've got a whole bunch of resources that I need to uh, get rid of. But the main thing I've got is I've got 5,695 adaptive frames and 4,319 uh, ISO, ISO centered magnets. We need to go and sell them. Uh, that'll give us a little bit of money, not a great amount. Um, but obviously, walking with all this weight, I am encumbered, so it's going to use up my oxygen uh, really, really quickly, as you can see over on the left-hand corner. But that's fine. We can recover from that. I can. I can't quick travel, so I'm going to have to walk my way over. And my health has just deteriorated so quickly because I'm so heavy. That is totally fine. I can uh, heal myself back up. So I'm just going to head back uh, to a city to sell this. And then uh, a satisfying moment to return we'll to make a bit of money. So I'll uh, see you once we get there. Okay, so I've made my, made my way to a, a vendor I'm eventually. I'm recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. That's fine. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Uh, yes. I hope we have what you need. I just need to sell stuff. Um, sell uh, resources. 
and we want to sell these ones so let's just see how much money we actually get from this uh bosh and bosh so about thirty-four thousand. back to it then not too bad at all and now i can run around like normal so obviously you scale up the um the mining facility or the outpost so that you have uh the ability to store more resources that means you can do more crafting you're going to get more experience points and you're going to be able to sell and make more money and making money in this game is really really easy i've made loads of money just doing other bits and pieces um kind of off screen uh, so that i can uh, buy stuff that i need but that's it ladies and gentlemen um quite a short video in comparison to most of them but i just wanted to show you how uh, I am making uh, making a little bit of money on the side of everything else that I'm doing as well as um, bumping up my XP quite significantly obviously I still need to go and level up those certain things you know just because I've got these points here I still have to go and do certain things like this one I'm still gonna have to build five different outpost modules um, to level this one up and then whatever I need to do on here and then here uh, and then finally on here um, so you still need to do that but obviously at least I can get to the point where um, I can start leveling those things up rather than having to work through everything else so yeah thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit those buttons um, I've already said in previous episodes that uh, once we reach 500 subscribers I am going to be doing a giveaway and if I do it before um, midnight on the 1st of november so you've got the rest of october and the whole of the first day of november um to tell your friends tell your family um uh, make multiple accounts if you need to um subscribe and then you can be in a chant in with a chant and i'm going to be doing it i've upped it twice uh we now or i'm now going to be doing it for three people if we do it before the end of october if we do it by the end of November, it'll be two people. And if it takes me until December, then it'll only be one person. But I might do a little Christmas giveaway as well. Uh, stay safe and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.